Hey everybody, what's up? I'm DJ Six Smith. Welcome to Sit Down. Absolute pleasure to talk to Roger Staubach today, one of the best to ever play the game. Roger, what's up? How are you? Good, DJ. I uh, guess you noticed my beard here. Did I? I like <laughs> I that. It's a good look for you. There. I think I wanted to be on on the video here, but my beard. Uh, I when the virus uh, when that all started, I said oh, I'm not going to shave until it's over and keeps going and my then all of a sudden my wife said you know I really like it we, we've been married 55 years and she said I think I have a new boyfriend you know so <laughs> so I've got to leave my beard on so I like uh, it I grew out a quarantine beard early on it was about down yeah, to here. We, yeah yours really looks I mean mine is uh, I think I need mine shaved or something yours looks yours looks better than mine <laughs> hey listen it, it's a it's a crazy year whatever flies at this point and the great news is is that we have Army and Navy and really excited about that. It's one of the best matchups in all of sports. And, you know, you're doing some great work with USAA. So why don't we talk about the game here and just let everybody know what kind of work you're doing with USAA. Well, I've, I've, I've um, when I graduated from Navy, they, uh, I have, my mother got my insurance. She, she actually saved up her money to buy me a used car. And uh, so I had my first insurance policy with USAA and they, you know, I've grown with them. That was that was way a long time ago, and they're a big company. And of course, the military they 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 just do a lot for the military in addition to their uh, their their business side of what they do. And and so I've been been involved with them for a long time. And uh, and uh, we they you know this year they have it's going to be uh, it's an Army Navy House dot com where people can uh, you know they can't go to the game. But there's other things they can do to uh, to be part of the uh, uh, there's there's uh, I, I know there's one see there there's one winner will will be chosen the Army Navy uh, and there'll be one for Army one for Navy the winners will, will receive airfare hotel and game tickets to attend next year's Army Navy game so so it's uh, the uh, it, it's 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 a big deal what, what USA is doing for uh, the uh, this year's Army Navy game. I'm really happy to hear that. And it's also a big deal of the games at West Point this year. It hasn't been at Mikey Stadium since the no. 1940s, which is incredible. So I know people yeah. won't be able to experience it, but what does it mean to you to hear the fact that Army and Navy will actually be played at one of the bases this year? Yeah, it's, uh, I guess it was like 1943, you know. So I, I, I remember watching that game on TV. Uh, just kidding. I was, I was one year old at that time. <laughs> <laughs> But it was 1943, and we we I, I was on the Navy baseball team, and we played at up at Army, and then also we uh, we we traded uh, like uh, uh, classmates and, and things, and so I went up, uh, and we uh, it's really a great it's it's a great campus there, and their stadium is similar to, to Navy Stadium, uh, uh, and and so they're they're they'll be playing uh, it, it the stadium. There's no the midshipmen. Uh, uh, and the, the Corps cadets are the only ones I think allowed in the stadium. Uh, so it, it's going to be, both teams are very competitive. I mean, the Army Navy game is always a big deal, period, but these teams are competitive. And I remember my first one in 1962, and I was a nervous wreck, you know, and President Kennedy was at the game. It was in Philadelphia, and, and we won 35 to 14. I was a, I was a sophomore at Navy, a youngster, and uh, it was a big win, and I don't, I don't really like to, to talk about DJ, but I did run for two and pass for two. Yeah. That, that was your famous four <laughs> touchdown game. And four, t four, t yeah, yeah. It was, and in, I tell you, in that locker room, I was more excited than probably any game I ever played in for, uh, 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 other than pro probably the Super Bowl when <laughs> we won our first Super Bowl in Miami. It was a similar feeling that I that that I had in that, that 62 Army Navy game. So it's, uh, it's, it's, it's a big game. It most certainly is. And the Naval Academy was such a big part of your story. And, you know, just paint the picture for everybody out there, because at the time that you played, you won the Heisman Trophy. Navy was a top football program in the country. So what did it mean not only to go to the Naval Academy and serve your country, but to be playing for one of the best teams in college football at that point? Well, when, when I uh, had a chance to go to the Naval Academy, uh, I really wasn't sure uh, that 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 I wanted to do that. And uh, then looking back on the decision I made uh, to to go to Navy was the best decision I've ever made. I've I've uh, been so grateful for uh, 
getting a chance to be in the service. I mean, I, I was limited, you know, I wanted to play sports again. So I was, I was in the service for four years and spent, spent a year in Vietnam. I was a logistics officer supporting the Marine Corps over Vietnam. And, and so I was able to do a lot in those four years and I, and I'm still, you know, I'm a, still a Navy guy. And uh, it, it, it was, it was really special to uh, be able to go to the Academy. And then after I graduated, uh, playing for the Dallas Cowboys, uh, I had a lot of Navy people behind me <laughs> and they're there. And it's so it, uh, so, so Navy is just, it's, it's, it's a foundation in my life really. And, uh, it's, it's, I, I feel very fortunate. I had a chance to go to Navy and all, uh, and I'm still, still, uh, talking to my old Navy friends and we're actually zooming a lot now. Really? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's, it's in this crazy world we're in right now. It's, uh, it's, uh, uh, it's, it's a zooming world and, and we, we have, a Navy group that we're, we zoom quite a bit now. It's incredible how those bonds have lasted. And you mentioned yeah. serving in Vietnam. I mean, when you think about that time in your life, what stands out the most to you? Well, the v Vietnam, I, you know, I was uh, with the Navy support group in Da Nang and uh, I spent six months in Da Nang in July. So I was really in a, in a support role and we were surrounded by Marines at that time. And the i area, South Vietnam in 66, 67 was a lot of Marines were, uh, they were, uh, all over. And, uh, and so we were supporting the Marine Corps and, uh, and I, you know, I lost, uh, uh, a few of my classmates, uh, in fact, in fact, I, I was in Camp Timshaw with a couple of my classmates that were SEALs. SEALs were pretty new at that time. And, and then Eddie Gill and Larry, Larry Graham were there. And, and I, you know, one day I, I said to him, I said, Hey, where do you, where do you guys go on these missions and everything? And they say, Hey, listen, Stavok, you were our quarterback you were our leader. We, uh, we d depended on you, but right now we can't tell you what we're doing, mm. but we are doing a hell of a lot more than what you're doing. <laughs> so, so, so I said, Oh, okay. Yeah. I, <laughs> so, so I, I really was there with classmates and teammates and, and it's just a shame that people did not recognize our military, uh, they were doing what this country wanted them to do and the protesting when I got back was horrible. And, mm. and today, I, you know, it's a different, it, people really do understand, hey, the military, they're, they're gonna do uh, what this country wants them to do and they're doing it for us. So, so the, the, the protesting was really, in Vietnam was, 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 was really uh, not, it shouldn't have been done. Uh, they, they could have protested the politicians, but don't protest the military that are out there, the men and women that are. So that that really bothered me, and I came back. And even when I joined the, the Cowboys in '69, people were still were uh, protesting Vietnam, and uh, it's you know it's, it's a shame. It was a war that uh, it, uh, we could you know <laughs> talk about for a long time, and but but our men and women did what this country wanted them to do. So. And we'll probably be talking about it for you know, yeah. several decades going forward. And you mentioned yeah. Dallas, and that was such a big part of your life, too, and winning multiple Super Bowls, becoming a Hall of Fame quarterback. What were the biggest keys to your success when you think back on it now? Well, the biggest keys were uh, having uh, Tom Landry as my coach and to have, have all these great, uh, you know, I was uh, Don, Don Meredith had retired when I, when I joined the Cowboys. So he was one heck of a quarterback. I would have played behind him and, and Craig Morton. So I played behind Craig there for a while. So I was, I joined the Cowboys and, you know, Bob Lilly and Mel Renfro and Leroy. So it was really a, a, a team that was, uh, it lost some tough games to Green Bay. And so we were, you know, like we couldn't win the big game or something. So we, when we won that first Super Bowl in 71, I was part of the team and, but it was, it was, it, 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 it was the, uh, it was the, one of the best feelings and coach Landry, I, I can still see him smiling. I mean, he didn't smile a whole lot, but <laughs> so winning that first Super Bowl with the Dallas Cowboys was a, a thrill of a, a lifetime and being part of the team and being the quarterback on, on the team was a big deal for me. And, to be around, be, be playing with the guys that I was watching uh, when I was still in the Navy, watching them uh, with the, when, when they had those tough games against Green Bay and to see them, how happy they were uh, winning uh, the Super Bowl and being well, part Roger, I really appreciate the stories. We'll be watching Army and Navy this weekend on CBS. Thanks so much and stay healthy, my friend, all right? Okay, DJ, take care.